Hi lovely air signs, Jenny here from Joy Energy Tarot. This is your intuitive reading for July the 15th to the 21st and I hope you enjoy it. I love reading all your comments and seeing where you're watching from. And if you wait till the end, you will get your own personal message as well. So you guys start off the week with the Seven of Pentacles. So this is where you've been working really hard in the past and then you're starting to think, oh, Am I ever going to get ahead? Is this the way I want to earn money? Is this the right thing that I'm doing? And so you're pausing and you're analysing things. You're working out, do I want to keep doing this this way or am I going to try something different? And you've got the Nine of Swords, so you're worrying about something. You're overthinking everything and you're worrying about it. It's like an endless nightmare. So the Nine of Swords, it's when you write down your options, write down your goals and, and everything so that and lists so that you can see um, different ways of doing things or getting whatever's worrying you out of your head. You've actually got a lot of thinking cards, your ear signs. But then you've got the King of Wands. So there's somebody there that can help you, or this is you taking control. This is someone who's successful. They're a fire sign. They're a leader, or they've got fire on their chart. They're a leader. They can help you. They're a business person. They can help you. And underneath it, you've got the hanged man. So you've been making sacrifices. You've been trying to get ahead. You've been trying to um, succeed. But they're saying, hang on, look in a different direction. You may need to look in a slightly different direction. Then you go on to the six of swords. So you're going to come out of that overthinking or that worrying about something, about doing things a certain way. The six of swords is where you're coming out of that darker period and now you're starting to see the light. You're thinking, yes, this is way better. Now I know where I want to go. You're seeing a lot more clearly. And below it affecting you is the, the king of swords, the page of swords, the nine of swords. So you're, you're surrounded by either you and younger people or people thinking or um, or people like you. So the King of Swords is where it's someone who's at the top of their field. They know what they want. They can see clearly. They're not emotionally invested in something. They can cut through the BS. They can be a teacher, a lawyer, someone like that that's working with their brain. So this is either you starting to see things, you're enlightened and you're wiser, or there's someone there you can get advice from. Because then the Page of Swords, it's like information coming in. Look at the look on that cat's face. You're going to find out something or some news is going to come in. And it, and it's what you've been waiting for or you've been trying to find the truth in a situation. And then you find out and it's like, mm, is that what's been happening? Or is that what's stopping me? Or something like that. It's going to be enlightening, but it's like looking at things logically. Um, it could be something legal too. And then you've got the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is like um, you're progressing from that page, the Knight, seeing the truth clearly, finding out the more information. And this is um, some, this is more positive. It's like what you needed to hear or what you've been, you're going to be learning from this news or information that comes in. It's going to teach you something. And then you go on to the world. So the world is great. This is like the beginning of a new chapter in your life. You're leaving behind an old chapter and you're going on to something new. Then you've got the Queen of Wands. So this is somebody around you who could be a fire sign um, who is, didn't you have the King of Wands? Yes, so you've got a couple, it could be a couple around you. But the, the Queen of Wands can be you also, where you're taking the lead now. This is someone who is a leader. They're the boss of their own life. They might be a business owner. They're successful. They are contented in what they're doing. But they've got vigor and energy, and you can get information from them or help from them, or you are going to be like that, being your own boss. You have got the Five of Pentacles, though. This is where, oh, am I worried about money? Have I got enough money? Will I be good enough? And you're trying to work that out. This is where you're thinking you haven't got enough or you're not good enough, something like that. You're trying to make up your mind or feel more about what you want to do to earn money, actually. Some of you, it can be fear of missing out as well. Then we go on to the Queen of Pentacles. So this is you guys now being resourceful with your money, working out what you want to do, how you're going to earn money, how you're going to bring the money in. And then you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So they're saying you can do it. You have got what it takes. So don't doubt yourself. This is about you being able to do things independently or you don't need to study more. You don't need to try anything differently. You've, you're doing things properly and you can do things independently. Now, there's two interesting cards here, Justice and Hierophant. So Justice is all about what you've been working on, what you've been putting out there will come back to you. This can be signing contracts, legal agreements, but getting the balance back in your life, and it's quite a major thing too. And then also to the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is dealing with people in power who um, are rigid, possibly 
um, um, the way things have always been, you know, like, uh, oh, I can't get the words, sorry. So it used to be the Pope and the church doing things that way, you know, how you're supposed to do things. So the Hierophant is actually about learning to be in touch with your own intuition, learning to be in touch with your angels or your guides, and learning to do things your own way differently, not the hierarchy sort of way, if you get what I'm trying to splatter out. <laughs> Okay, Aquarius, you have got this week, Goddess of Awakening. This is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. So I think that is just wonderful. So get stuck into your creative side. It can be where you're thinking creatively. You're coming up with new plans and ideas. You could be an artist. You could be a writer. It might be your dinners. You're doing something differently. But you are very creative this week, so tune into that. And then you've got tenderness. So you are in need of some tender care or giving some tender care. All right. And then Gemini, what do you guys need to know this week? You have got Angel of Abundance. Woohoo. A steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. Wow. That's what you've been waiting for, isn't it, Gemini? That sounds fantastic. And then you've got dreams. So once the abundance starts coming in, it enables you to dream. So don't stop. Um, giving up on your dreams, whatever you've been hoping for or dreaming about, um, focus on those to um, enable them to start coming to fruition, keep your plans going. And Libra, you have got Goddess of Strength, stand up for what you believe, you will gain respect by holding your ground. So this often comes up for Libra because Libra, Libras are often gentle and don't like to rock the boat and don't like conflict. So this is all about standing your ground and people will respect you more for having a strong opinion about what is right and because you guys have got a great um, the great balance of what is right and what is wrong. And the Justice card is about that too. That is a Libra card. Plus I like it because it's an 11, so it's quite a spiritual card. And then you've got Playtime. Okay, Levin, so don't forget while you're busy working and being serious to get out there and have some fun and do some things to make you laugh, you know, do things that make you joyful and happy. Okay, so this looks like a really good read. Um, King of Wands, King of Swords and lots of thinking and progressing from the information and you're, you're getting information, you're learning new things and it's going to make you become a lot wiser and... and uh, um, You'll have a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge coming in for you, learning more things, which is going to enable you to have faith, take control, be your own boss, lead the way and get out of that worrying and the world. So it's like a new chapter coming into your life, beginning a new a new phase in your life. And I feel for some of you, that world card, um, yeah, look at it. It's so lovely. Look, <laughs> she's happy. You're, you are being influenced by a, a queen of wands. There's somebody around you who's a fire sign that can help you and guide you or give you information. Uh, that's either that's about your new direction or the new world, the new chapter you're going into. The other side of that for some of you is that new chapter is going to make you feel that you are in charge of your life now and you are the boss of your destiny. You are taking the lead. So I think that's wonderful. Okay, lovelies, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you have the most amazing week. I appreciate every one of you. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.